Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Plot Trist, the Courtship Recaps. This is Meg, and as usual, I'm joined by Tati. Hi, everybody. Back again. <laughs> we know <laughs> that you just can't get enough of this show. <laughs> a- a- absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, are we the only ones still watching it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I think it has a small cult following, like very small, but we're we're a part of the number, you know. Yeah, you I think you're right. I think it's good to say it has a cult following. Because <laughs> then you're like, yeah, it's a cult show. It definitely. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's I guess jump straight into it. Yep. Starts with our now traditional bedroom confessional between Miss Remy and her court. Yes. And this time they're just recapping Captain Kim's exit. And mm. I, I mean, I, I'm glad they talked a little bit about it. I, I don't think they talked too much about it. Yeah, they didn't dwell on it. No, no. But she basically is like, look, um, it wasn't easy to hear. She tells them that <laughs> she and Lincoln, we connected. We connected quite a bit. <laughs> I was like, oh, is that the new word for it? <laughs> They were entangled. <laughs> they were very connected. Okay. <laughs> she said, but it was supposed to be private. And she calls him Danny Kim. Danny Kim drew his own conclusions. Mm-hmm. So, um, and then she says, look, I want to spend more time with people. And if I want to spend time more intimately with other people, I'm an adult and I can make that decision. So are we to assume that they were like, intimate intimate or they just kind of like made out i i honestly don't know i'm assuming it went beyond like they i'm assuming they slept in the same bed at least i like I, my my speculation like i said last week was like maybe heavy third base and then, exactly and then they just stopped but still she was a little she felt a little violated that anybody would even think you know we're, we're discussing it but yeah and I mean, I think we talked about it last week. I think she does have the right to expect certain things to be private. And I think yeah. they were. I don't think that yeah. Mr. Chapman like or Lincoln went back and yeah. was like telling them everything. No, he didn't. I, I agree with you. I think yeah. he I think he um, said just enough. But like Captain Kim kind of just went all the way there with it and yes. just kind of made his own assumptions. Because honestly, he really didn't say anything. He just mm-hmm. said, you know, we spent time together and, yeah. you know, spent the night, you know, think what you want. That was yeah. it. And so I think, I think she's correct that she totally has the right to do that and that she has the right to expect certain things to be private. But I think she should expect a little bit of jealousy or backlash from the other guys. Mm-hmm. You, you, can't, yeah. you can't keep it secret that he was there overnight, you know? Right, but, right. Yeah. <sighs> Anyway, cut scene to the, the suitors at the cottage. They're playing poker and we get treated to a lot of card slash love metaphors. So many metaphors. So, <laughs> I, I wrote some down. We started with love as a gamble. Sometimes yes. you lose, sometimes you win. The highs feel so good. The lows hurt like hell. You can't let the competition know what you're thinking. That's and the you, one I wrote down. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know who's bluffing yeah anyway yeah it was it was too long they could have cut it like one or two (laughs) they they, could have cut a few agree Mm -hmm. i agree with you um so and they have to do all this stuff outside they're not filming anything inside the cottage so i'm sure they're like all right guys time to go play poker outside Mm -hmm. so they're all playing outside and then they show a little man chat between Lincoln and a few of the other guys and he's like look if you think I did something wrong you can call me out let me know um I think really he was just heated because I I I get the feeling that Captain Kim probably alienated himself in the in the house Mm -hmm. um and so I think that's maybe why he was so upset they don't say this like out loud but they sort of imply it right Mm -hmm. Um, so he says, I want my true friends to call me out. And no one calls him out. <laughs> so they're, they're just sitting there. But, but Mr. Bukikio says, you know, nobody wants to hear about 
their intimacy. You know what I'm saying? He said, nobody wants to hear about anybody. He said, we know that she's going to go and spend time with people, but we don't want to hear about it. Yes. Basically. Yes. Yeah. And then Mr. Mumbre says he has his own um, one-on-one interview. Mm-hmm. And he says, it's obvious that they share a deep connection. And I was like, oh, another connection here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's like, look, I have to accept it if she chooses to get intimate with someone else. Mm -hmm. um and so he's really like look just because she was with this guy doesn't mean that I don't want her any less and in fact I think he's just actually getting more competitive he's Mm -hmm. like oh well this guy got time with her I want to have time with her now and and and, and it was even more his competitiveness was even more hyped up as as a as we will see in in, in later on in the episode I I have to be honest I I really liked the time the FaceTime that Mr. Mumbrae was getting. I, yes. I thought it was really, you starting to see the appeal of, of him, right? Yes, yes. Because before I was like, you know, he's, it, he even points it up, but he was like the English guy, like the token English guy. The token English guy, right. And he was like, you know, that's my thing. That's my shtick. But now I'm like, oh, he's actually not too terrible. I think this episode actually seem to show the suitors personalities a little more mm-hmm. I agree. Um, yeah so I started to I don't know I, I felt like they were all I don't know maybe on their game or something it was good I think because it's less of less of them mm. so now we have time to really spend you know significant chunks of each episode talking to the guys one-on-one yeah. so now that we know you know who's probably going to be the final in the finals or whatever um you know we have the time to kind of sit down and get to know them and yeah like you said a lot of their personalities are coming out now yeah well and I I really do especially in this episode I feel like you you do see that they're forming connections with each other too like they're, mm-hmm. they're actually friends. becoming friends yeah exactly uh, so then there's a little one-on-one with Mr. Cones, um, who says, I didn't think Danny Kay had been intentions, but he didn't have to get that heated. And I was like, yeah. he's all right. He was like, it's exactly what we said last week. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think they're so mature about it. You yes. know what I mean? Like everybody was mature about it, except Captain K. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they were so mature about it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, she's going to spend time. Yeah. She might get intimate. So what, yeah. you know, it's, it, it is what it is. Well, I think they're like, look, she's an adult. She's like super hot. Like, of course, you know. Of yeah, course we're all yeah. Good. We're, yeah. We're all single. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. The daily tea arrives. <laughs> What's going to happen in this episode? A masquerade ball. Ooh. Very excited. <laughs> they read about it. And then one of the guys goes, I have, there's like the, 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 the guys listening. One of them goes, this ball sounds sexy and then one guy goes yeah it sounds kind of kinky and I was like okay I think they were thinking eyes wide shut yeah. or something <laughs> it was really funny um and then there's a little line in the daily tea that says who will be unmasked mm. and I will say they are all already guessing that someone new is going to show up yeah, they kind of had a feeling. They were like, is there somebody new coming? And mm-hmm. Is it going to be an ex? They thought it was maybe going to be an ex. I, yeah. That would have been a twist. Like, if they would have brought in an ex, I would have been like, oh, snap. But, uh-huh. You know, I agree. That would have been good. One <laughs> of the men was like, we have met all her family members, right? Like, right? Is there another brother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. So then we get our, our each, you know, I guess not daily, weekly tidbit about the Regency and they talk a little bit about masquerade balls mm-hmm. about how it's a place where different social classes can mix mm-hmm. they didn't go into great detail though no no that, I mean, that's pretty know. much it yeah I don't know why I'm surprised anymore <laughs> so <laughs> then the ball begins and okay fashion interlude she shows up I loved her masquerade ball okay stunning so beautiful drop dead gorgeous she looked like Loved cinderella it so it was uh, more it was more like georgian inspired with the low yes. like the pointed bodice and the really full skirts and like the overskirt it was like uh, cream with gold embroidery gold. Mm-hmm. Gold you know gold. it reminded me of Belle's dress yes in beauty and the beast yes because it has these, it has these, <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the cartoon the yeah. cartoon <laughs> and it had the um 
the the drop sleeves mm-hmm. that are, they're not sleeves at all they're just like decoration but they were just beautiful yeah. Yeah. absolutely gorgeous and then she had I guess she was dressed up as like Diana goddess of the moon or something because she had mm-hmm. this tiara on that was like different moons in the different phases mm-hmm. absolutely gorgeous so pretty uh, and then the suitors are all wearing um, I guess their evening dress so this time they're wearing white breeches black jackets with cream embroidered waistcoats that mm-hmm. that match hers just the colors like they're, the colors, they, have, yeah. they have cream embroidered with gold mm-hmm. and they all have white cravats everybody has a gold mask mm-hmm. with like diamonds or whatever right I loved it. it I really mm-hmm. liked it <laughs> yeah even the back did you see the background dances yes. they look good too they had on like these golden cream dresses and mm-hmm. stuff I was like oh that is pretty I they, they really it. did a good job on that one they really did I mean just a- any shot from this ball was just really nice it was just really beautiful even the um with the, um the butler yes his mask. <laughs> <laughs> he made mention of his mask too <laughs> they were like he looks really good and I was like he does look good he does look good <laughs> So they start the ball and she's dancing with a few of the different men. Um, and her sister goes up to some of the other men and she's like, guys, you are going to try to get some time with her, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm wondering if she told her sister, like, hey, you need to tell them to like step it up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. this is what we were talking about last week about how she's like, she doesn't want to have to approach them. She wants them to approach her. I don't think she wants okay. them to like, fight over her but she wants to feel pursued wanted yes Yes. she wants to feel wanted and pursued exactly so the she says i think my husband is in the room again (laughs) yet again and i'm like okay you don't have to say that this is so bachelor language but whatever she dances first with mr holland and apparently, I didn't realize this, he's the only man who hadn't been in a farewell dance. Mm-mm. They really talked this up throughout the episode. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to spoil anything, but it might be foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that. Yeah, there may be a little foreshadowing there. Just a little. Um, and as they're, as they're dancing, he's got this like long monologue about how she's amazing just so wonderful and he really wants her to love him and he wants to provide her with the laughs yep you know yeah so then she dances with Lincoln with Mr. Chapman Mm -hmm. and um he says their first night together brought us closer together Mm. (laughs) and then he just whispers he just whispers I'm crazy She loves it. I mean, you can tell she's she loves eating it also. up. She really is. Mm-hmm. So then she dances with Danny B. And the only thing she asks him to do is to make amends with her brother. So she's mm-hmm. like, I want you to show me and my family how much I mean to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, I thought this was so amazing. Now we have the new suitor oh so that man was fine i'm oh sorry Woo, it's, Jesus. <laughs> it's, am- it's amazing they open up the doors like the double doors to the ballroom and he walks he's wearing the same outfit as them except he has a, a purple a, well he has a cape and he has a purple cravat <laughs> he is sharp he is obviously the prince because he uh-huh. had a purple honey uh-huh. <laughs> Wait, and he comes in and the background music is the music to Swan Lake. And I, I was like this, they did. I was so impressed with them. Like I, I wrote down my notes are a plus choice of background music. Yes. They <laughs> because, set the scene. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was perfect. He comes in cause it's, and it's the music, you know, from when the black swan shows up at the mm-hmm. masquerade. And I'm like, oh my God. Mm-hmm. Oh God. So he comes in. He takes off his mask and he's like, the most good looking man like of all time. <laughs> that man, y'all, no, 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 there has been some good looking men on this show now. Yes. 
because Dr. Natim um, had him was nice looking. Mm-hmm. The other doctor was nice looking. Yes. I, 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 t- I tend to go for I tend yeah. to like a dark haired guy. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, I, I kind of that's kind of my jam. But <laughs> this man was so fine that I, I had to pause the TV and then text Meg and say, yeah. girl, I haven't seen this thing. He's so fine. And I was like, I haven't watched it yet. I was like, but I am really looking forward to it now. <laughs> So he comes and just takes off his mask and he goes, Bonsoir, mademoiselle. <laughs> I literally slid off the couch. <laughs> I was like, oh, he is playing this part. <laughs> oh my God. And then it, it does a there's a close-up shot of her and she just goes, oh God. <laughs> and then there's a shot of Danny B who goes, plot twist. <laughs> Oh my God. Commercial. It, was, it, was, it was too much. Oh it my God. It was much. really funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mr. Hunter was like, Well, at least he's, I hope he's not good looking. And the guy takes off his bed. Oh. He's like, Fuck, he's good looking. <laughs> so funny. This is what I'm saying about how the guys, like, I feel like we're, again, seeing their personalities. <laughs> yes. I, was like, I don't know if they've been this funny all along and they just haven't shown it or I they don't finally think, yeah, feel they just comfortable enough it. to make jokes. It was great. Yeah. So, okay, back from the commercial break, the, the narrator yeah. is like, who is this handsome French stranger? <laughs> <laughs> well, his name is Miles and he's actually from London and he went to a French school in the UK and... Okay, so I have to admit, my husband was watching with me, and my husband is from France. Oh, nice. Yeah. And he goes, I think the way, uh, in his British accent, I think the way French people do things is always with a touch of spice. And my husband goes, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, is this, I was like, are you serious? <laughs> and I will tell you, after 20 years with a French guy, it's just not, like, just the fact of being French is not sexy anymore. You know? <laughs> but like, like it's the, fine, the, but... the luster has worn yeah, off. Right, right. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Sorry, sweetheart, if you're listening. <laughs> oh my gosh. But you know what was the funniest part? When they put his name up and they said, Mr. Nazi socialite. socialite. I screamed. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wrote that down too. I was like, what? is this anyway that, i think that's code for like instagram influencer or right? something um, it has to be i didn't look it up but i think he's probably like an influencer or something oh for sure and then in oh his, um the little interview that introduces him he's like boys get annoyed because their girlfriends end up liking me but that sounds like a them problem not like a me problem <laughs> 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 oh my gosh this guy like, you know, I was watching, I was like, you know, if Prince Naveen from the Princess of the Frog could like hop off mm-hmm. the page, it would be this man. Oh my God, you are so right. It was Prince, N- his actual name is Nazir. Yes. Nazir. But so, I mean, if, if Prince Naveen is him. Oh my God, <laughs> you, you are, you are, you are 100% correct. I didn't think about that, but like, you are so right. Oh my God. <laughs> So she's spending some time with him and then she just starts laughing and she goes, the guys are going to hate you. <laughs> I'm <Yeah>. so sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and then, yeah, then Mr. Hunter's like, well, at least he's not good looking. <laughs> and everyone starts laughing. And he's like, fuck, he is good looking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was so funny. Oh my god! This show, this this episode was probably one of the funniest. Like it, it really was. It, it was. had jokes upon jokes. Yeah, because oh then god. she dances. So she's dancing with him, and then it cuts to Mr. Cones, who goes, "Of course, the heavens had just a beautiful French dude." <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, like, oh, and did you notice that he had a mustache? And I was like, "Is that a fake? It must have been a fake mustache, right, for the masquerade." Mm-hmm. Because he yeah. didn't have it later, right? Yeah, I don't anyway. think that was real. Okay, good. Because I was like, I don't think it was real. It not a good real. look. <laughs> it was. I didn't like it either. I think it was to hide his quote unquote, you know, part of the mask or whatever yeah, masquerade. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was unnecessary, but you know. it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, so then they they try to get away from the drama of this new guy, 
and they show Danny B who does approach Dom her brother and yeah. basically just very awkwardly is like oh I like your sister he actually says I'm, I'm into your sister man we're kind of like I like her <laughs> he's like okay <laughs> I was like well I'm glad to hear that <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, you know, because at first I was thinking, you know, you weren't showing your vulnerability and yeah. blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and I'm like, dude, like it's a few weeks, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, so then Nicole's talking at the ball with her friend and her sister, and they're just talking about how good looking Mr. Nazar is. That's it. Mm-hmm. And oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention that while they were dancing, they shared a little little kiss little smooch little peck yeah, yeah little smooch yes <laughs> out on the dance yes. i was gonna say you didn't forgot that part like they yeah. say smooch she was Sorry. like should we kiss and he was like of course <laughs> and he did and then she's like i didn't plan on the kiss and she goes but i'm not mad about it <laughs> i'm not mad about it i know that's right <laughs> so then she introduces him to her brother and they talk in french i was like oh my god yeah, I, I think people were they, I think the other guys forgot that she's mm-hmm. Haitian and so yep. they speak French yeah so they were looking shocked I was like um y'all forgot the girl is like Haitian, she's Haitian. Folks yep. Haitian. so Haitian. they know French yeah so. <laughs> so that was it was cool no, um, I thought that was cool yeah I will say Mr. Nijera goes oh your accent is really good and I'm like oh. It's such a French thing to do. It's so annoying when you speak French. They always like compliment your accent. I'm like, if um, you have a good one. To, I'm like, when you get to know the girl, you'll realize her folks yes. are Haitian. Yes. <laughs> and then somehow Mr. Mumbre has some tea about Miss Monsieur Nazaire. I was shocked. I was like, what? What? <laughs> they they they, apparently they're in the same social circle i don't know exactly what that means but they're both influencers (laughs) you're right that's what that means (laughs) they probably dated some of the same girls yes and then it well now the name one yet again (laughs) dating the same girl so then they have an interview with mr mumbre and he goes he says what we're all thinking which is I was the English guy, but now there are two of us. So I, <laughs> I see this as direct competition. And I was like, the other guys were in direct competition. Right, right. Like he, his Englishness made him feel special. And now he doesn't feel special anymore. So <laughs> it was really, it was really, really funny. It was funny. It was too funny. Yes. Um, but yeah. And then, um, okay. Then she takes him to meet the other group of circles. And they turn their backs. They give them the cut direct. And they try Ugh. to make this out to be a thing. But then they all laugh. They turn back around and they're like, ha ha, we're just joking with you. And I was like, hey, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Hunter is bringing up the funny bone. The he really was. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go, they, she, he's known this girl for like max three or four hours. And it's that's bad. like, that's pushing it. Okay. Yeah. And they go, would you propose to her at the end of this? I was like, where did that come from? I was like, why, did you, why are y'all asking him this? And he goes, well, would you? Mm-hmm. Right. And they all go, yes, I would. And Danny B goes, yes, I would. And she was like, oh, you would? <laughs> She's like, mm-hmm. oh, now you would? What happened and, to last week? <laughs> yes. And she says she's excited, but she's also questioning a little bit, like, Okay, what was this turnaround? Like, did all of a mm-hmm. sudden now you like love me? Like, what happened? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she said she feels like maybe he was feeling pressured or like the competition was making him feel pressured. Yeah. And I was like, you have a very good point. <laughs> yes, very good. So, another commercial. And now we've, you know, we, we're referencing a different reality TV show, The Great British Baking <laughs> or whatever, Great British Bake Off. Yes because he's oh. outside mr Mumbre is outside baking and they're always like in a tent right in that show? Yeah, yeah yeah they're always in a tent mm-hmm. yeah so he's he's like i'm gonna bake her a cake and apparently we're learning all this stuff he worked for three years as a chef in mm. france so take mm. that mr nazar <laughs> <laughs> i can bake a real cake yeah 
I don't, know how, I don't know how he baked it because you see him mix a lot of stuff. Where's the oven? Like, Thank you. Okay, there's no <laughs> oven. So he mixed it outside and took it back inside. I don't. I have I don't no think idea. He made the cake. I don't think he made the cake. I think I he made the icing to go on top of the cake. Yes. Yes. Now I do. I do done. think he made that icing. Yes. Um. So the then um. The other suitors are, they're all grilling the new guy while he's, I guess, while Mr. Remember is baking. Mm-hmm. Um, and then yet again, we hear that Mr. Holland hasn't had any of the farewell dances yet. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> will this, will this be significant? I just learned his name was Jaquan. I was like, oh, that's his name. <laughs> Finally, right? I know. Now I'm learning everybody's it, first name now. Well, that's the thing too. I like, I I understand why they did the whole last name thing, but at this point we're, now we're like trying to figure out who's who because like right. Charlie did that and I'm like which one is Charlie? Charlie, yeah, 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 yeah. Which one is Lincoln? I remember Lincoln, yes. but yeah, yeah. Well, I'm starting to tell them all apart now. I know who Charlie is. I know who Lincoln is. Mm-hmm. Um, I know who Jaquan is now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the first time you heard his name. You're right. Yeah. Um, but I don't know Mr. Cones' first name. I don't either. Um, I thought it was Michael, but I could be wrong. Oh, that's that's that sounds plausible. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Michael, but, but hey. yeah. So um, then Charlie Mumbre comes up and he tells them, "Like I'm gonna go take this cake that I made to Nicole." Mm-hmm. And they're like, "Okay," so they leave. And then Mister Nazir, Mister Nazir looks like. Oh, okay. And a cake, huh? Yes. And, <laughs> and we, I'm like, I, I, I get the feeling that they put him there to be the villain. Yes. Because they're like, oh, ev- you know, everyone has their good points. And they're like, what are you good at? And he's like, oh, I'm good at everything. I was like, bro, really? Mm-hmm. You're going to be that dude? Yeah. So I was like, mm. so now I'm like, okay, it, this one, this guy, I'm like, are they paying him to be here? Right, I hate right. to be that suspicious because I, I actually do not believe, a lot of people talk about there being like actors and actresses on like The Bachelor or Bachelorette. Oh, they, oh yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah. I, I don't think they hire them to be actors. They just happen to be actors. Right, because wow. it's a lot. And my justification is why would you hire someone and pay them to read lines when they're just going to do improv the whole time for you right right you know, right you see right. what i mean <laughs> right i get it yeah so i don't i don't think they hire actors to read lines or even necessarily like i want you to be the villain or i want mm-hmm. you to do this i think they mm-hmm. just hire people and i think they decide on their own oh i don't have a chance with this guy so i'll be the villain right 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 but in this case i am a little bit like is he supposed to be a villain Cause it just kind of like his kids whole attitude and stuff. Just so weird. It's like, it's sort of counter productive yes. in a way. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And then he's so opposite the other guys, yeah. even opposite Captain Kim who left. Um, right. Cause Captain said, Kim was self-assured, but he wasn't like this. Exactly. Say what you will. I mean, and we've said a lot about Captain mm-hmm. Kim. I, I have never thought he was being like fake. I didn't either. I you did know? not either. And this guy, yeah. I'm like, is being is being fake like your personality, or are you supposed to be a fake? You know what I mean? You know what? I think I think that's what it is. I think okay. First of all, he's a socialite, <laughs> so you're right. <laughs> a lot of being a socialite being an influencer is being a little fake you know what I mean um, I do so, so maybe he has to be he, all he knows is to be a little over the top and be fake to get attention from people women whatever yeah so I think I think that's kind of his style maybe that's it maybe that's that's all I'm smelling <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see next week yeah <laughs> Um, all right. So then it um cut scene to Miss Remy and her court. So her brother, mm-hmm. sister, and friend. They're mm-hmm. hanging out in the drawing room and um the fashion, it's stuff that we've seen before. So they're yeah, wearing they, their coordinated like 
um, the mint dresses, like the mint mm -hmm. color with the uh, orange and pinkish roses on them. They look mm -hmm. great, but it's not as like the first three episodes. I think we were like, wow, this dress. Wow, that looks amazing. And I'm like, oh, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so knock, knock, knock. In comes Charlie Mumbray with his cake. And I admit the cake did look good. It did look good. And you know, it did, it actually felt like they were having like a less formal, like kind of relaxed chat. It, it mm -hmm. actually looked like they were having a good time. Mm -hmm. And um, they say the cake tastes great. He talks about his family and how close mm -hmm. they are. He says he would cook her dinner every single night. And I was like, mm. that's a good, you know, it, you don't need another reason to cook him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's a chef, right? Yeah. As a woman married to a chef, I'm telling you right now, they don't cook every night. <laughs> <laughs> they don't cook every night he's just he just he just he just you know playing it up so, so. I, I will ruin all your fantasies about frenchmen and stuff. <laughs> can ruin your fantasies about marrying a chef <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> oh my gosh oh i love it so um they're having this like cute time and he's like he 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 says oh he says like my heart beats faster when he sees her and he's like i'm trying to bear my heart without being too cringy <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was cute. It was really cute. Was cute. Yeah. And then, yeah. of course, who should interrupt but Mr. Nazaire, who brings in a giant cake and that production made? You're right. And Miss Remy goes, We went from a loaf to a tear. <laughs> that was rude. That Wait, was and, rude. And Charlie goes, <laughs> Yeah, we're going to get diabetes. <laughs> Like, yet again like the, it actually was funny i was like these guys it are was funny. funny but that was rude nicole you did not have to say that yeah. you went from a loaf to a tear cake that sounded like upgrade you type of language i did not like that. No. <laughs> so uh miles and Zaire comes in and he has he brings a sword for dom he's like here's Weird. a sword in case you like fencing uh-huh and then he uh, brought a case of wine for Danielle and Tess. I mean, what at they least, drink? Uh, yeah, but also at, that's true. Maybe they don't drink, but I would rather get a case of wine than a sword. <laughs> that's true. At that's least true. the wine you could like re-gift, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't re-gift the sword. Do that with, you could do that with a sword. <laughs> re-gift re the sword. I get it's somebody who wants to be a ninja. I don't know. There you go. Someone who likes Renaissance festivals. Yes, Renaissance. Yes. So Nazaire invites her on a real date, and she says yes. And she, as she walks out with him, Charlie goes, "I'm just gonna eat some more cake." You know what? I didn't, that part killed me because he had already talked about him being like an overweight kid or mm -hmm. whatever, and compensating. For like eating and stuff and then y'all have him say well i'm just gonna eat more cake we knew what you were trying y'all were trying to imply mm -hmm. that he was depressed and sad and that he's gonna like eat his feelings like i did not like i didn't like that mm -hmm. and then she didn't have to just go off like that like just like to the loo i mean yeah <laughs> i'm gone they just left him in the wind like that was so oh my god it was too much yeah i i get the feeling that the date with him was already planned Mm -hmm. and maybe everyone knew about it except for charlie yes you yes. know because i don't she didn't seem like uncomfortable or anything like that so that, that that was the feeling that i got so again yes. we talked about how the drama the the producers seem to be trying to create some drama especially especially with the fact that they know each other yes and they're kind of in circles so something is probably going to come out exactly. like about them and like knowing each other stuff yes. you know t the whole taking girlfriends thing i don't think that was a um mm -hmm. just a little, little tidbit that they just said i think it's gonna come back oh around. for sure you know you know there's gonna be mm -hmm. so they decide well they don't decide the date that's organized for them is making gin they're not making gin they're, they're infusing, infusing gin. They're thank infusing you because i was like yes. they're making gin i was like this is gonna be interesting no no <laughs> No, they're infusing it with like lavender and this and that, which is fine. Like, 
I don't know, but it, it's not the same thing as making gin. Okay, guys. No, no. So while they go on this, while they're infusing the gin, Charlie's back with the other suitors where they all just decide to bitch about Miles. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so they're complaining about him, but they're also definitely feeling the competition. Yeah, they, they, they feel the heat turned up in the mm-hmm. kitchen. And they're like, well, he's not here to make friends. I'm like, it's a competition, y'all. Yeah. They're not here. You know, I understand y'all are close now, yeah. you know, and stuff and real friendly, but the man came to win. Yeah. He came to play. I, yeah. I did like their thing. They're like, look, we're friends. We're friends when we're here. And when we're with Nicole, we pay attention to Nicole. I was like, well, that's right. A, that's a healthy. Yeah, it's healthy. You know? I was like, yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's better than them like trying to fight and stuff. You know? Yeah, that's true um so then she asked so back at the other date they're back with the date with mr nazaire she asks if he cooks at home and he says well my dad was the chef at home and he taught me everything i do which is not an answer to her question (laughs) i felt like he had a lot of fluff and no substance absolutely like she's like have you been in love before and he's like yeah i was in love before with someone before but turns out that she was getting between me and my family and I can't let that happen he's like unfortunately I had to end it with her I was like oh she was eating it up though but but that just but that just shows me her youth and and, and experience because as a person my age I would see straight through that bullshit and be like bro you're not saying anything like you're not you're not giving me any real answers here you know it was kind of just a little you know, surface level stuff. Yep. And, you know, talking about his family and uh, we're doing, you know, we live in near Saint Tropez. Yes. And yes. She's like, like, when okay. I meet your family, he's like, yes, I'd fly you to the south of France and you could meet my family. She's like, where do they live? He does not, by the way, as someone say. who has lived in France. And I, I I'm, I'm going to sound like I'm super braggy. I actually lived in. No, 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 educate us. <laughs> I, I, I lived in Nice. Okay. And, like there are a lot of different places around there and he's like yeah I mm-hmm. lived right near Saint-Tropez and Nice and Cannes and I was like um those are like not they're Close. in the same area but they're not like right next to each other tell me what town you are from so I so I know but oh. I was I was actually like very interested because I I like so there are like towns in between those mm-hmm. those are like the big towns but there are a lot of really small towns around them got it Got it, mm-hmm. got it. So, okay. so I mean, he's not wrong when he's like, I live near Nice or Kent. Like, if, if those are the major in, landmarks, yeah, yeah. If I had lived yeah. in a small town, I probably would have been like, Yeah, I live near Nice. But like, she's actually asking you where you live, you know? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, Just mm. answer. I, I was, uh, I mean, I admit, I was curious. <laughs> I was like, Where do you live? Maybe he, maybe he didn't want to say, like, yeah, well, exactly. that's the thing. He was like, Oh, I live in Villefranche, sur mer. <laughs> you know i don't know um all right and then there's a there's a gosh and i'm like is she falling for this or is she's totally falling for it because she said oh he has this level of sophistication and chivalry yes that you know and confidence that you know the the other guys could you know use i'm like and i literally wrote down here it's an act (laughs) yes thank you because i was like i I kept expecting her to be like well, he was talking a big game, but I didn't really understand, you know? Nope. Hook, anyway. line, and sinker. She was falling for it. Yeah. Back at the cottage, the suitor, again, yet another very subtle metaphor. <laughs> They're just hanging around a punching bag. And again, they don't have a choice in what they do. It's not they like don't. before the poker tables were out, so they were playing poker. Now there's a punching bag. So what I mean, what do you think they're gonna do? You know, mm-hmm. like so they were punching the punching bag. And then I will say Danny B was really funny. He's like, I don't know if Nicole wants to explore the late option, but I gotta step it up. <laughs> the late option. He got him a late option. That was yeah. so funny. And by stepping it up, that means he writes her a note and says, Meet me at the fountain. And I I was wondering if he was going to be like, remember our first date? It was right here in front of the fountain. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was. But, but he didn't. They just, <laughs> they talked. And, you know, they had like, um, they had a nice conversation. 
it, yeah. it felt like an authentic conversation. Yeah, pretty um, genuine. Yes. I will I will point out that she's wearing that um Bolero pelisse that I really like from the boating um mm-hmm. date. So I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll try to find a picture of it this time so everyone can love it. It's just so it's just like really nice. It is nice quality. Um, yeah. So yeah. They like they're talking about where would we live and you know, what would we do? Because he's from New York. She lives in Seattle. Right. But she's basically telling him, like, I have room. So yeah. She's like, I own a townhouse. Yeah. It was again, I really like the personalities that we're seeing. Because she's like, Mm -hmm. I have a two bedroom, two bathroom townhouse. It's a lot of room. And he's like, Oh, so the second bedroom would be for me. And she was like, Yeah, and you'd have your own bathroom too. (laughs) It was really cute. That's not very uncommon. That's not very, you know, uncommon. Some people do that, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, I see both ways. <laughs> I don't want to be like it's like. Well, I don't have the space to do that. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe, maybe I would feel differently if I did have the space. But I'm like, no, right. no, I like the intimate theme. <laughs> but um, <laughs> <laughs> then they start talking about kids. And I was really surprised because he's the guy who's been, you know, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't want to like 100% commit, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And now he's like, I kind of want kids right away and I want more than two. And, and then he goes, oh my God, it's so funny. He's like, but I believe in practicing until then. And she just <laughs> sits. She doesn't under, she either didn't hear him or didn't understand the joke. I think it went over her head. Yeah. I think I think it kind of went over her head. And then she was like, oh, wait, what? Like <laughs> she what? was like, huh? And then he was like, I'm sorry, it was a bad joke. And then she started laughing. He was like, you could see in his eyes. He was like, oh shit. I shit. like, yeah. I offended her. That was a bad joke. But no, yeah. then she started laughing. It was yeah, it, it kind of like went over her point. head. Yeah. And then she was like, wait, oh, practice. Oh, practice. <laughs> yes. It was again. Look, are these like the most groundbreaking jokes in the world? No. But no. I do feel like you actually get to know a little bit of their personalities. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Them. And maybe, you know what? Maybe Danny B needed a swift kick in the butt by mm-hmm. some competition. Well, to be was, like, look, let me let me do what I need to do, you know? That's exactly what I was thinking. It's like, look, I don't love this guy, but if we get to see the same quality content out of the other suitors yes that's great maybe that was his purpose yeah i mean i just hope it doesn't turn into like crazy drama oh uh, yeah so now it's time for the farewell ball and she's wearing the same gown that she wore at the masquerade so of course mm-hmm. we loved it and yes. in, and for this one so she doesn't have the um same uh tiara but Mm-mm. she has a flower applique on the right lapel. Yeah. I thought it was really pretty. I actually really liked it. I love that dress. It's, yeah. It's funny. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. And so dancing the farewell dance tonight are Monsieur Naze. And then commercial break. Because you're like, they're like, dun, dun, dun. And I'm, like, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. As soon as all the other suitors are like, yes, she's going home. You're like, you know, he's going to stay. You know, he's not going home. Yeah. So joining him are Mr. Judge and Mr. Holland. And I was, mm-hmm. as soon as they said these three people, I was like, oh, Mr. Holland is going home. <laughs> home. I, I, I thought that too. I was like, oh, she going to send the brother home. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then, <sighs> and oh, and then Charlie is like, Mr. Mumbray, he's like, he's like, I'm just happy not to be on the dance card. They're like, who do you want to go home? He's like, I don't care as long as it's not me. Not me. Yeah, it's not me. I don't care. Yeah. And I was like, well, that's how, you know what? I think they were really trying to get him to be like, I hope she sends Mr. Mazzara home. He's a, he's a snake, blah, 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 you know? Yeah. And he yeah. was like, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. So then they dance. First, she dances with Mr. Holland. Uh, and yet again, he's really, he's just really, I feel bad, but we, you can just tell she's not that into him. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. he hasn't really stepped it up beyond that one date that they went mm-hmm. on so it's like she really hasn't well from our perspective she hasn't had time to talk to him and she right. he hasn't really made the effort you know to talk to her so, so she's kind of like yeah so they're talking the and 
he says, we'll have a connection. And she stops him. And she's like, look, I know that you're really into me. (laughs) And she goes, and I'd like to explore that connection. I really, I swear to you, I thought she was going to say, I know that you're really into me and I'm sorry. I just not there yet. Yeah. I I don't think we're going to make it, but she says something like, I'm not there yet, but I want to get there. And then she's like, okay, you know, so he goes up to the balcony, says to the other guys, it's scary down there. (laughs) (laughs) Then she dances with Mr. Judge. Mm -hmm. And remember, he's the guy who I felt like, anyway, he was like, I just want to be a provider. I want to provide. The wrestling coach, yeah. Mm -hmm. He comes out with this line. So funny. My life's an open book. I just need to finish writing it. I was like those I feel like those metaphors don't go together but whatever no no they, they don't that's fine and then she sends him back up to the balcony and she says my favorite line please join the boys on the balcony <laughs> and then all the guys are like yes that means she's sending Mr. Nazare home and that's when I was like he's not going home like obviously I was like this is one of those weeks where they keep everybody because there's always a week where they keep everybody on every show (laughs) Uh, and then um chapman lincoln he's like watch her body language when she dances with him mr cohn says i want him to hop back into his carriage (laughs) (laughs) and they're dancing and she's talking to him and mr judge dancer mr judge goes i need to get better at talking (laughs) right right and danny right. b goes shit me too like <laughs> they're, they're just now realizing they're like you know if you if you talk to someone and you you know you really talk to them it's very attractive like, come on guys. right 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 so he does this thing that i was really annoyed at mr nazaire uh-huh. he talks to her in french he does this whole thing in french and they did they translated it accurately so mm-hmm. we knew what she what he was saying she has mm-hmm. no idea. Well, she might have a little bit of an idea. I think she has an I think she speaks French. I think she has yeah. an idea. Uh, but she goes, what did you say? And he goes, if you let me stay, maybe you'll find out. And I was just like, oh my God, that's, that stuff <laughs> is so, it's just really annoying to me, you yeah. know? But yeah. I thought he was a good dancer. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this guy. He is sophisticated. Let's be honest. Like, <laughs> He's a he's a very fine specimen. <laughs> yes, yes, very much so. He he knows how to wear those clothes. He knows how to dance. I mean, it's yeah. Yes. And if he if he had told her what he said in French, I would have been like, okay, that was cute. Mm-hmm. But guess what? She's not sending anyone home this week. No, everybody it's stays, fine. and everyone's like, what shock? Oh my like, gosh. And the host is like, well, this should show, this should prove to you that Miss Remy and only Miss Remy is in charge here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's right, girl power. <laughs> but I I will say I'm excited about next week. Yes, it looks like they, it looks like her mother is doing some some sharpshooting. I was like, oh my god. Yes, and they were a little scared. Mr. Combs <laughs> is like, I'm gonna marry into a family with a sniper mom. <laughs> I was like, y'all forgot she was in the military. Right? And then my husband was asking me that too, because I, like I said, he watched the last part of it with me. He was like, what do you mean she was in the military? I said, you know, I thought you said she was a doctor. I said, everybody in the military has to shoot. Mm-hmm. I said, everybody has to shoot. Everybody has to go through basic. Like, every, he, he, well, my husband's from St. Kitts, so he doesn't mm-hmm. know anything about that. So he was just like, really? I was like, yeah, everybody has to do all the stuff. Yeah. And he was, I said, so she probably can shoot. She probably, she probably, well, who knows when she learned? Maybe she's been doing it since she was a kid. I don't know. That's but, true. You know, maybe she learned and was like, because she's, it's not like she did it in basic and then like stopped because she's right, still looks right, good right. at it. You know? Right, she's good. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I don't know. I just yeah. like, I, and I'm sure they're going to have some Regency tidbit about how, yes. you know, you know, shooting was the pastime of the aristocracy blah, 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 you know they, they're um they're probably gonna give us a little half a history lesson about 
you know what happens so yes (laughs) exactly frustrating but look I will say that this episode was a really fun one I enjoyed it a lot very entertaining the the new suitor brought some spice and Mm -hmm. really kicked things up a notch with the other guys and made them step step their game up so and there there um, are only eight of them now I think that I think you're right because there are eight of them we get to see a little bit more from each person mm -hmm. so you know even though like Mr. Hunter we didn't see a ton of Mr. Hunter he had some great one-liners you know yeah and mr cones we didn't see look mr cones is one of my favorites but i i have i have to admit he's just my favorite he's not nicole's favorite (laughs) no no he he he, he, like i said he he did the perfume the cologne thing yes that was the that was the you know the 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 top for him (laughs) you put this all downhill from here sorry it was just all downhill (laughs) all downhill (laughs) oh man all down here i'm hoping my hope is like in the next couple because this cannot go on for like no six more weeks i'm thinking she's probably gonna start chopping them two two by two well i was gonna say she can't because like literally in the past two episodes we have stayed equal because the past three episodes because first she got rid of she got rid of two men and then the two new guys came Mm-hmm. And then the next episode, she got rid of one, but then someone one. else came back somehow, something mm-hmm. like that. Or was it last one? She one guy went home, but we knew there was a new. That was what happened last time. Yeah. She sent one person home, but then we already knew from the um, preview that a new guy was coming. So, like the mm-hmm. past three episodes, there there has been no change. <laughs> There's been no right. change in the suitors. So I'm like, like you have to. You're, you have to start cutting some people like, yeah I, I mean like yeah because I'm okay there there are eight people left so let me think I'm thinking this is probably gonna be like a 10 episode run yes yeah, so three, only three on, more on, episodes so we're on seven yeah seven so yeah she's gonna have to start cutting them two by two and then the final episode will be the last what what is that three four three two whatever so yeah so it'll be four six yeah four yeah so then she'll cut it down to like the last four and then that'll be yeah yeah then she'll get down to three and then we'll figure out who it's gonna be yeah we'll we'll see we'll see i don't know we'll i'm like i don't know i don't know how she's gonna get rid of these people <laughs> just don't bring any more people i don't think y'all need to bring any more people into this show we just don't need more people let it ride with who we got oh my gosh so yeah well, but I, I liked it though me it too me too it was, it, was the, it was just very entertaining this is very entertaining I don't want to say this is like the it's not like the best reality tv show but I'm like this it's is it it's it's good like this it's episode good. was fun it was really fun I didn't feel like I was wasting my time watching it it didn't it didn't drag it, I didn't think it yes. I didn't think it dragged um I think was it episode three or four that I felt was a little yes. like yeah like come on like come on let's get let's get it over with you know yeah Yeah, Um, exactly so yeah this one didn't drag so I I I mean I liked it I agree I I enjoyed it it a lot Mm -hmm. all right all right everybody thank you guys for listening um we hope that you're I mean I don't know you don't have to be watching a (laughs) lot I guess you could just listen to us talk about it. <laughs> yes, yes. We hope that you're watching along because I want to see another season of it with yeah, somebody. Yeah, I actually, I really think this could be popular mm-hmm. if they had done the right things. And we've said this a million times, so I won't. Yes, I won't beat a dead horse, but mm-hmm. I, I think it's the production value is high enough that I think this would be a good show with a good viewership. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. especially because they they now have paired it with temptation island that comes oh, on right before oh that's that's the temptation good. island comes on right before this yeah. which has a high viewership mm-hmm. everybody loves temptation island okay <laughs> and then um any of those crazy shows like that people yeah love. and and that paired with that is kind of a nice little you know yeah 
Well, that makes right. total sense too, because we've got the like super sex focused one, and then mm-hmm. the one that's supposed to be like really straight lace. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm I'm hoping it, that pairing with that has increased yeah. the viewership. So, well, time will tell. We'll see if it gets another season. Then exactly. We were yeah. saying before we started recording that um, it if nothing else, we can say it's a cult. A cult classic <laughs> yes a cult classic for sure for sure so. and I think that with I mean with this whole interest in Regency and stuff like that if if anything it's just gonna make people more interested in the era and maybe the books and all that good stuff so that's yeah. a good thing I agree you know because you know essentially both of us are about the books so it's, no, let's be honest <laughs> we're, let's be honest we're about the books we watching the show but we're about the books we read the books y'all we don't yeah. just you know it's true so, you know, so. <laughs> all right um yeah. uh, i forgot again at the beginning tati where can we find you Yes, you all. You can find me everywhere on social media, on Twitter, on Instagram, even on TikTok at Richard Writes On. Yeah, my TikTok has gotten a lot better. Um, <laughs> Richard Writes On, W R I T E S O N, uh, Richard, traditional spelling of Richard. Um, and um, my podcast is on Instagram. It's most active on our Instagram at um, Romance in Color, I N color with a u the very british spelling of color as a matter oh, of fact very appropriate <laughs> for this episode <laughs> so yeah that's where you can find us all on social media me on social media and the podcast awesome all right awesome. well we'll be back with you next week with another we will. courtship recap yes see you guys then bye bye